When it comes to game-changing ideas, what do Gandhi, Ted Turner, and Gustav Eiffel all share in common? You see, whether it was the man who led India's fight for independence or the American business tycoon who founded CNN and revolutionized television news, or the engineer who oversaw the construction of this tower, which would become the tallest freestanding structure in the world for the better part of four decades. All three, Gandhi, Turner, and Eiffel, shared a unique characteristic shared by game changers everywhere. No one would believe it now, but back in the 1880s, when Gustav Eiffel's tower was first being contemplated, it was greeted not with applause or admiration, but instead howls of protest, scorn and ridicule, primarily from the artistic community here in Paris. Many artists were convinced that this, quote, ugly black smokestack of metal would ruin Paris from an artistic perspective and make it the cultural laughing stock of the world. But Gustav Eiffel could see both practical and symbolic uses for the tower. He told his critics, this project will serve as a monument for the century of industry and science in which we are currently living and as an expression of gratitude for the revolution of 1789, which made these advancements possible. The Eiffel Tower was a major hit when it opened in 1889, attracting millions of visitors. Mahatma Gandhi stopped by in 1931 and told his hosts it was France who ushered in the Age of Enlightenment with the works of Voltaire and Victor Hugo and how those ideas served to strengthen his resolve in the quest for India's independence. Resolve. It's a common theme that supports the foundation of any game-changing idea. Gandhi and his quest for freedom without violence, or the resolve demonstrated by Ted Turner in 1980 when he created the world's first 24-hour news network, the first place we still turn to in times of global crisis. As a young broadcaster in the early 1980s, I can remember the launch of Cable News Network and how Ted Turner was criticized. And there was no audience or advertisers, uh, for that matter, who were going to support uh, news 24-7. In that respect, can't help but wonder if Ted Turner didn't take a page out of Gandhi's playbook, who was once quoted as saying, first, they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and then you win. Well, more than a hundred years later, Gustav Eiffel's tower serves as a vivid reminder for game changers anywhere. Doesn't matter whether it's political, economical, social, cultural, musical, or in this case, architectural. If you have a game changing idea, the question will become how much resolve will you bring to the table to overcome the resistance that is sure to come your way?